Well, everyone, we're always getting lots of questions about foam free arrangements and maybe using alternatives like instead of foam, what can you use? So this is just a couple of ideas like mechanics um, that we kind of suggest and there's kind of some of the suggestions we use here at the flower school. So first of all, I have some chicken wire here and I have some fresh moss. Now normally I let the moss dry out, okay? The idea is that these are going to be reusable. You can obviously measure your piece of chicken wire to whichever measurement you want. I'm probably around, you know, 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters here approximately but again you can make yours a little bit larger or a little bit smaller so what i'm going to do is make an alternative foam block but it's going to be foam free so really it's a moss block so get your moss you know that way and like have it as dense you know that way and kind of squeeze together as best you can right so get as much of it in there as possible you know now some people say well would you wet it first it'll be very messy and very untidy I have a bucket of water here and I'll show you then I would prefer to use it dry and then wet it afterwards so you can see there I'm putting in quite a large amount of moss there don't worry about it coming out of the edges right so then I have my chicken wire which I'm going to bring it around there and can you see the way I'm kind of going more for a sausage shape rather than the rectangle but the thing is I can always mold it kind of into the shape that I want now this end of the chicken wire hopefully you can see it where I've left like the raw pieces of metal so they will go in there and then again I can hook them around you see my previous kind of like chicken wire to actually hold it together so I'm just going to get a few of them and then just buckle the wire in around it there so just kind of like bending them so say that little piece of wire just kind of bending around that piece of chicken wire that piece of chicken wire and so on and you can see then how easy that was now on this end or with both ends I'm going to like tuck them in there you know and I actually feel I get another little bit that's the great thing there's a bit of a stick there we don't want that so again we'll just tuck that in there it's a bit like stuffing the turkey at Christmas remember see I've never done it physically but I used to see my mother doing it and she pushing the stuffing up there right and again I'm going to buckle in the ends there you see to hold it all in there nice and tight eating my own hair and then I'm just going to turn it on the side and again I'm going to press that down there make sure it's nice and dense might get another little bit in you might as well do a good job on these because the idea is that we can use them again, right? So again, we get another little bit of moss in there. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to like tuck that all in. There we go. I'm going to give it a bit of a bang on the table just to make sure there's no raw bits of work sticking out. There we go. And you can see, even though it was kind of like more of a sausage shape, it's not far off the shape of the block of floral foam. So then what you can do is you have your bucket of water. Now don't put it down like normal floral foam. You know the way you'd leave it kind of like soaking. You're better off just kind of bring it down, you know that sort of way. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Take it back out again. Dump the other end in. Couple of seconds, loads of bubbles there, right? Like so don't over soak it, just enough because moss is a natural sponge. So what it'll do itself, you know the way, it'll draw all the water into the middle and then you can always rewater it or spray it, you know what I mean, to keep it more moist. Now depending on like where you want to use this, so if you were using it for a table centre, you could use maybe your single spray tray and what like obviously the plastic tray can be reused again and to strap it in you could use your twine like your hand tied twine so just to show you to see how that can go there or again if you want to be able to hold more water maybe for a hotel or that again you could use our larger container and you can place that then into the center of it and then you can top up the container with more water and then you can use a piece of the twine so let me just find the beginning of this because again, somebody will say to me, what do you mean you tie it on, right? So we get two long pieces of twine here. And this is just so simple. And when you're finished using them, right, is you can pull out all of the flowers. And again, moss is a natural sterilizer. So you can just let it dry out itself naturally. And then you can reuse it again at another event. So you can see the way I'm just going to tie a knot there, just tie a double knot. You could tie a bow if you want to, but I'll probably cut it out of the container anyway when it comes to it. So again, we'll just cut off them. And again, another bit of twine down this end. Now, you could use a different container. Maybe you have glass containers, metal containers, ceramic, you know that way, stone containers. You can use absolutely anything. 
but again this is all about being sustainable and looking after the environment looking after the plant so there is our moss block you know that way it, it's already soaked you can fill your container with water you can keep that misted and moist you know that way and uh, we haven't used anchor tape our tray can also be reused again but so can our blocks of moss and again if you're doing maybe things like archways or moon gates you know that way or half crescents like for weddings or events again you can tie them onto your actual stands and you can use them exactly the same way that you would use floral foam so hopefully that's given you a couple of tips i suppose somebody might be asking what about maybe a roundy one so maybe before i finish there so what I have here is kind of a, like a smaller piece of the chicken wire. So this is probably about 20 centimeters. And what I'm going to do is just kind of like buckle in the edges of it here a little bit. So just kind of bring them around there, right? I'm kind of making like a little bit of a hat shape. And this time I'm going to put the moss into the center. So this would be more like for maybe a circular arrangement, maybe for a posy dish or maybe for um, a bull bowl, you know the way, maybe to do like a hat box arrangement. So again, like, you know what I mean, get your moss in there nice and dense, and then what I'm going to do is kind of like buckle that around, and then anywhere that I can kind of like catch, I just leave some of the little bits of wire to see sticking out that I can kind of like knit them in together or stitch them in together, you know that way. We'll do the same on this side, we'll bring this one in, we'll bring this one in, and again, I'll just catch the little bit of wire around there just to catch them on. And then I'll just catch a few more of them, really. That's all it is. So again, we'll just buckle that in. A little bit of bending here and there, kind of stitching in our edges. Another few there, just to catch them around. And we have another few over this side here. Now, be obviously very careful and use an apron, you know that way, because it's quite dirty kind of doing this. But as I said, it's a one-off, you know that way, because you're making a few of these. And the idea is then that you can reuse them. Do you know that way? So I just want to close up this end here. There we go. And if you find, I'm just a little bit short of wire. I don't know, it's working here for me. I thought it was going to be a little bit short of wire. But I was just going to say, you could use a little piece of twine, do you know that way, to tie any of the edges together. Just this one's a bit short, so just put that around there. There we go. Now again, a little bit of moulding just to get the shape to see that I want. Okay, I want you to be a bit more circular than that. There we go. So you can see like our cylinder of floral foam if you want to call it, but it's a cylinder of moss. And then the same idea, you know that way, just put it down to the bucket of water, just like a couple of seconds, you know the way that is plenty. And then either using your bulb bowl, which again can be reused again, I'll just kind of put it down there just to kind of like let you see it. And I'm just going to get one of the larger posy dishes. So again, like for table centres, you can see the way this will be ideal you see like into the table center and again the same idea we we'll get our hand tight twine and we'll secure it around it and the great thing is it's all reusable like obviously our plastic dish can be reused again but the actual moss cages that you've made like there's no need to take the moss out you know that way just remove all of the dead material place that into your compost bin and then just let your moss blocks or moss cylinders, just let them dry out naturally. And uh, as I said, all of that moss was dry to start off with and then just wet it as you need. It's quite dirty, quite messy. So there we have our moss cylinder in our posy dish, but you could make a larger one and you could use it for the bulb bowl. And again, we have our blocks, you know, that we kind of made for going onto our spray trays. Obviously, if there's something else that you'd like me to demonstrate or maybe explain or give you a couple of ideas, put all your um, questions or your comments in the comments below there. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'd really appreciate if you maybe shared this video. So my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flair School. And if you join us on our social media pages, every Wednesday at 12 o'clock, we always have a free demonstration video coming up showing whether it's hand-tied bouquets, foam arrangements, foam free arrangements, funeral work, door swags, door um, door wreaths, uh, wedding bouquets, presentation bouquets. Like we try and demonstrate a full varied um, selection of arrangements, floristry and flower arranging. So again, thanks for joining us today. Bye bye, see ya.